All right, so my goal here is to tone this more of a lavender color, like gray, lavender, got a lot going on here. It was pink and I liked it. I actually washed most of it out with good old dish soap. Um, and I got a lot of that out. I'll insert a picture here of how it used to look. It was pink, bright pink. A little tiny bit of bleach, like a light diluted bleach because it got most of it out. But still have a little bit of pink in there, but I'm kind of thinking I can just cover that because I don't want my hair to fall out. And then I washed it with my viral lavender shampoo and it definitely did something to the ends. Um, so I'm going to try to tell this with the stuff I have in my house because I'm impatient. Um, I'm actually a beauty school student, so I probably shouldn't be just throwing random stuff in my head, but I'm on summer break from school and I'm bored out of my mind. So let me show you guys what I got here. So first off, I have my trusty viral color wash shampoo that is why the ends are kind of purpley. Um, I had the pink one and I've been using it on my pink hair for a while now and I love this stuff. It's definitely the best. I could probably just throw this on my head and leave it there for a little while, but I have some old dye I want to try to use up. So we're going to just do a nice experiment here. <laughs> what I got right now is just some ion stuff. It's not the best, but you know, I have it. Um, I can get fancy hairdresser stuff now, but this was something I already had. But I couldn't remember which was which, because I had a pink one and a purple one. And, I'm, dude, I'm so confused. I think I might have had the wrong lid. So I had to, like, test them out on my things here. And now I'm thinking this one's turning more purple with the, like, developer I added. But, I don't know. We're just going to see how that works. So I'm going to mix some crap up, and we'll see what happens. Alright, so after finally I had to Google it, the Radiant Orchard is the purpley one, so I'm going to use some of that. I got my good old just developer that goes with that. And I know my sink is not fancy. And then I have my professional stuff that I'm mixing with this experiment. One of my dye tint bowls. And then my brush, one of my tint brushes. This is all soft and style. I don't know if that is a brand. I think you can get these on Amazon but I'm not positive. Um, and then just my clips. So, yeah, here we go. I'm gonna make some stuff up and we'll see what happens. All right, now that I have this hot looking do, I mix my stuff up and this looks really blue, but that's okay because I need to get some of the reddish hues out to get to the color I want. Um, I didn't end up using my clips. I just decided to part it. This is a little bit moist, but it's it's only a little bit moist. It should be okay. You don't have gloves on, which is my first not good thing I'm doing, but it's my own hair, so I don't care. Anyways, yeah, I might go back and put some of the like more actual purpley stuff on the roots to cover up this brown. Oh god, I really can't even see because I'm looking at my camera. But yeah, as blue as this looks, it's not that strong, so it shouldn't buy my hair blue. And if it does, well then I screwed up. But that's what I get for being impatient. But hey, it's probably interesting. Hopefully. really hoping to get
Gloves. She's wearing gloves. Now, like I said, I'm kind of scrubbing this more because I did use the shampoo. I wouldn't normally go in and scrub dye or even toner. So, but since, like I said, I have the shampoo in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the extra and just kind of smear it. Make sure there's nothing in there. This is the worst part about doing your own hair is the back. So, even if I had normal back, I'd probably just, I'd probably smear it in the back. Anyways, because I can't see the back of my head. Okay, I think we're pretty saturated. So yeah, that's definitely looking lavender-ish. So that's what we got. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for like 20 minutes or so, and I'll be back. All right, so this has been on for about 20, 30 minutes. I'm um, looking pretty grapeish. I'll rinse this out before it gets too purple. Okay. All right, so this is what I ended up with. I like it. It's definitely more lavendery. It's still a little bit pinker than I would have liked, but I'm hoping. I'm curious to see what it looks like in natural light. I'll take a couple pictures outside later and style it a lot because I wanted to kind of run my hands through it. These ends are definitely more silvery, but yeah, I'm gonna keep using that color shampoo so hopefully it'll get a little more silvery um but yeah i like it i'm happy it's not a huge change because i still kind of had that purpley pink thing going on i'm glad i didn't do the roots that bright purpley color because i don't know i don't think that it's still a little pinkier than i would like i don't i think it'd be too much around but i like it i might go in and do maybe like a gray at the root actually so yeah i like it i'll take some more pictures of it but 